Hey, it's Brickzar, and it's train month, November 2014. I'm reviewing train sets every day for the month of November 2014, and today we are looking at set 3225. It is from the 9-volt train era. It came out in 1998, so you could call it vintage. It is the classic train. No, I didn't just call it a classic train. That's what other people call it. It's the classic train train. It's your traditional steam train with electric wheels and a caboose. has a tipper car which is very common in the Lego train sets and a gondola. has a lot of little accessories for our train workers to use. has three minifigures and a cart. So it's actually supposed to be kind of like a western train or an old-timey train as some might call them or a steam train which would have been from the 50s, 1950s and sooner, probably more like uh, the early part of the 20th century. But anyway, this is what you get. No track. You do get a 9-volt motor in the engine, and but no track, no controller. So it was kind of like an add-on train if you already had your own 9-volt train, trains and motors and, I mean, track and... A, the speed regulator. So we're going to show you the train and then we're going to put it on our track and see it going. Alright, you get three minifigures. You don't get this one. This is trains are. I'm not changing my sig fig, but that's for me when I'm doing train stuff. You get these three. You get the classic Paradisa mustache guy there wearing a modern train uniform. You get the yellow jacket Paradisa mustache guy. <laughs> And you get the eyebrow guy with the uh, zipper jacket. So nothing really um, stands out. It's, they seem to did overkill with the, the funny mustache there. It's in a lot of sets. So 98, I don't, yeah, no back printing. I do like the yellow jacket. It's pretty good. But that's your three minifigures. Now, there is this cart, because back in the day they didn't have electric cars or something. It's got a $100 bill, or a $1 bill, and a broom. So that's a little cart for working at the train station. Here is the steam locomotive. It has the 9-volt motor. You can see there on the bottom with the shiny metal wheels. I like the look of it. It's kind of like a tank engine. Yeah, it's got stickers here. I love the gold. Uh, even though it's stickers, I like the gold. And I actually like this part here where they give you some details. This piping and stuff. But that is all a sticker. Has a build not much different than some of the older sets. Although the older sets, we didn't have these round pieces. And I will be showing you some other older steam trains that LEGO made long before this one came out. And it does also have a control panel on the inside. I have to take it apart so you can see it. But it's got all your gauges and valves and stuff for making the, the train go. And now i got to remember how to put this thing back together. I forgot what I did. I'm always doing this. Oh, yeah. We'll get it figured out here. This is my first video review for train month, and I've already broke something. Yay. But anyway, it's got the little piece here. They use a lever. Reminds me of Space Set. No, just kidding. But that's the little steam locomotive. Now let's look at the other cars. One thing LEGO has made a lot of in the train theme is uh, tipper cars. Uh, this is a tipper car. It's got some one-by-one -one round bricks in there to dump out. It does use friction pins. Hey, friction pin. What's friction pin? <laughs> to, so that it doesn't just fall over. You can actually have it kind of stick that's why they call them friction pins right there but that's all there is to it real simple build that car here is the work car or the gondola car it has some goblets in there some chains some tools you got another mail piece here and that is a mail some a letter so you can just carry all kinds of stuff it's going to get wet but that's okay if it rains uh, uses the log bricks 
That's all there is to the gondola car. And here is the caboose. It kind of goes well with the locomotive. It has the red and the black and has the gold details, but that is a big sticker piece. It has open doors. Now, there's no actual door there, so you can actually get your figures in there. Hey, look, kids, Lego trains can have a door. Maybe this is why they don't put them in a lot of the sets, because it looks ridiculous being that big. But anyway, it is, you know, you can get your figures in and out, and the roof pops off real easy. So if there's a fire, they will be able to get out, because this caboose has a door. Or it could be a passenger car. I call it a caboose, but I guess it really is a, a, a really short passenger car. So, whatever you want to call it. And before I forget it, show you the instructions. You get this big instruction manual. Real easy to follow. And it does not have an alternate build. So, it does have a picture of the completed set. That's about it. And I'm pretty sure that is not a caboose, but I like calling it a caboose. In this review of set 3225, the classic train.